Viewer discretion is advised. It's January 1st, and you fat basses made resolutions and promises that you can't keep. So I'm going to help you. I'm going to introduce you to a whole new world of food. Healthy eating. Everything you see here is healthy, filling, and it's not going to give you cancer. So whenever there's a snowstorm or a natural disaster, everyone runs to the store to buy milk, bread, and eggs like, you know, French toast is going to help things. If you stock your pantry fine, you're going to be able to survive Armageddon with all this food. Not to mention, with all these combinations, you're going to make 150 billion dinners and never repeat yourself. So we're going to talk about these things one by one. Stick around. Shit. Yep, that's me at 320 pounds. Man, I was living large. Go ahead, you could say it. I was a real fat bastard. But then I got multiple sclerosis and everything had to change. So I changed it. What else was I gonna do? I'm Rob Brazius and this is my life. All right, so you want a really quick and easy way to keep all your New Year's resolutions and all the promises you made to lose the same 30 pounds you've been losing your whole life. It's about having a stable and packed pantry. Now, the first thing I always go to are grains, rice and quinoa, and beans. Lentils, too. If you want to make a nice curry, you add a little coconut milk and the people come over and they love it. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful, Rob. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, thank you. Come again. But seriously, beans. They are worth their weight in gold. They are a huge source of protein. You could probably stop eating meat if you start eating more beans because if anyone's ever read about colon cancer, that's, that's the road you're on with meat. So you can replace all that protein with beans. All you weightlifters and everything out there, you can get all your protein from beans. You don't need meat. Meat is just going to kill you all that quicker. So beans, whether they're in the can or dry, you prepare them. You can leave them in the refrigerator and then you can drop them on some salads. Quinoa. Quinoa is awesome. On our channel, we did a Southwest quinoa salad that you could check out. You could add veggies to it. You could add these beans to it. And this is an amazing alternative to rice. It's healthier to me when it comes to rice because it has more protein. And that's the thing. Get more protein in your life. Healthy protein like this. So whether you have brown rice or black beans dry or anything, keep your pantry stocked because if you have these uh, chickpeas, I almost forgot the chickpeas. Chickpeas, we have an oil-free hummus recipe on our channel you can check out too. It's absolutely delicious. So if you have these staples on hand and you come home tired from work because some morons were messing with you all day long, then you don't have to sit there and be lazy and all oh, order a pizza or a Chinese food. You can make yourself a quick, easy meal because it's already prepared and waiting for you in the refrigerator. So don't be a fat bastard running down the road towards your death. You want to die and you want to have people wonder what happened to you, not, oh, it took this long. So the three main things that you're going to keep in your pantry to go from a fat bastard to a healthy and vibrant person, potatoes, tofu, spaghetti squash. Now spaghetti squash, oh Rob, that's produce. I'm not a moron. But this kind of produce will keep for three to four, maybe even five weeks or longer if you keep it in a cool, dry, dark spot. Now, my grandmother used to make spaghetti squash all the time when we were kids. We were guineas, so she put tomato sauce on it, she put cheese on it, she shredded up a little bit of breadcrumb for a little bit of texture. It was awesome. Now, when it comes to potatoes, you could do what we did mentioned earlier, split them open, add beans, add salsa, absolutely delicious meal. Yukon gold potatoes, we usually smash them and put some vegetables on top of them. Sweet potatoes, we split them open and we lay the beans in there. Absolutely delicious. Now, tofu. Everyone's afraid of tofu. You're a schmuck. It's a good source of protein. It's low in fat. And best of all, it takes on any flavor you put on it. You could broil it with barbecue sauce. You could soak it in your favorite salad dressing. This is not going to give you the ass cancer. Nothing on this table right now, nothing I'm showing you is going to give you cancer. What do you have to say about that now? All right, the next most important things that you're going to want in your pantry or your freezer in this case frozen vegetables. Now buying fresh produce is a nightmare, but frozen, it'll keep in your freezer no matter what, and it's always there in a pinch. You don't have to worry about making it out to the store. I'm not going to start talking about the whole benefits of organic and non-organic. You guys can fight amongst yourselves and wind up in fisticuffs out in the street. 
God, I love saying the word fisticuffs. It's so awesome. But anyway, organic or non-organic, that's up to you. You have vegetable medleys, broccoli, corn, and peas. These things are absolutely awesome on top of potatoes. In the Southwest quinoa salad that we were talking about earlier, all kinds of dishes over rice. And over rice, we're making a salsa, canned tomatoes. Absolutely sweet, low sodium, absolutely awesome. Now, you always want to have some root or sulfur vegetables. Garlic, that makes anything taste good. Garlic would make my shoe taste good. And for salads, onions. Even in the quinoa, um, Southwest quinoa salad, even on top of the baked potato, especially in the salsa, onion is the way to go. Now, jarred sauce like we were talking about with the spaghetti squash. If, oh, my God, if my grandmother saw me with jarred sauce right now, she'd be saying, Mamla Bhutan, she'd be spinning in her grave. But if you don't have the means to make your own tomato sauce, some jarred sauces out there are absolutely excellent, low sodium, made with organic tomatoes. Uh, see, I brought up organic, now we're going to wind up fighting. It's up to you. You feed your family whatever you're comfortable feeding your family. But when someone comes down with a disease or someone drops dead, how are you going to answer how you fed them? Was it because of you? Because you were being lazy? Or are you actually taking the time to build a pantry that's going to keep you and your family healthy and full of vitality? You were warned. You can't claim ignorance anymore. Get off your ass and make a change. All right, so now to make all those things we talked about taste good, herbs, spices, and vinegars. So I'm, there's way too many here to mention except for I see dillweed over here. And it's just funny to say dillweed, like fisticuffs. It's just a funny word. Actually, the dillweed was the kid in elementary school that was the smart one. We used to beat the crap out of him on the, on the elementary school field, but that's neither here nor there. But seriously, get to know and get to build a spice cabinet. You probably have all of these spices. They're 10 or 15 years old. I mean, you should probably take them for their permit so they could start driving next year. But seriously, get to know spices because all that food that we mentioned, you can make it taste amazing. And if you can make healthy food taste amazing, healthy food is all you're gonna to wanna to have. It's gonna take about two weeks for you to get used to all this type of eating. This is gonna be the only eating you want because it's gonna make you feel great you're going to look great and you're going to feel healthy and you're going to crave the freshness and the density of these potatoes and beans, but you've got to spice them properly. If not, you're just a fat bastard spinning your wheels. So as you saw, it's not going to take much to get you guys to eat healthy and meet all your New Year's resolutions so the next time you see a family, they could stop talking about your brother-in-law, the a-hole, and talk about how good you look and you could talk about how good you feel. So it doesn't take much. Build a stable pantry of all these delicious and good food. And I guarantee you, you're not going to believe the way you're going to feel and the way you're going to be. The next subsequent shows on Life with Rob Brazier is we're going to take each of these ingredients and we're going to make something delicious. But you know what? you got to do your own research and you have to live up to your own imagination. Google stuff, ask people, just throw things together. You never know. Sometimes when I was hungry, I would throw things together. They turned out to be delicious meals. So anyway, thanks for stopping by. I'll see you guys again.